Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another Matchbox Monday episode. And today we're going to, as usual, look at some Matchbox castings and uh, just talk a little bit about them. Uh, so these ones are kind of, um, I guess, uh, little race cars, I guess, sort of. We've got uh, this one here. This is a Fiat, a Barth. Uh, it is number nine in the Matchbox lineup, or was number nine in the Matchbox lineup. It's a pretty cool little tooling. It's got a plastic base. It's got a metal body. Uh, this was available from 1982 to 84 in this colorway. Uh it was also available in 1985, I believe, in a different uh, variation of it, So, which I don't have. But this is kind of a really cool little vehicle. I'm digging it. Um, this is made in Macau. It is in 153 scale. So we got metal body, plastic base. We got the super fast wheels. It's got very um, soft suspension uh, to it. And it's got kind of a yellow tinted windshield. I like the detail in the front. I think that looks pretty awesome. Um, no real detail in the back. I mean, it's got all the casting detail in there. Uh, this would actually be, I think, a very cool car to uh, make a custom out of. So if I ever found a, a beat up one, I think I would probably do that. This one's in pretty good condition. It's got a couple of flea bites uh, there in the tail. But other than that, I think it's, uh, it's doing pretty good. So neat casting. Um, I definitely think it's pretty cool and uh, yeah so that's the first one we're looking at today uh, next one is going to be a Ford Sierra XR4 and here is that I think that the Ford Sierra is the Ford Sierra a Ford Escort is it the same thing um, I don't really know all right so Ford Sierra XR4 somebody will answer that question made in Macau I don't know what year this variation is from, but I'm guessing that it is late 80s. Uh, I, I would think it's probably late 80s or early 90s maybe even, uh, probably late 80s. Uh, but the casting itself was available from 1983 all the way up to 1997. The only reason why I'm dating it when I'm dating is because of the wheels that are on it. Um, again, Matchbox Wiki is not very complete. Uh, you do have uh, BAMCA.org, which is a great resource for, for Matchbox if you know how to navigate it. It's not super intuitive, uh, but it is a, a wealth of knowledge there. Uh, so check that out if you're looking for information on these models. This one also is a metal body. It's got a plastic part of the body here and then a plastic separate piece that is a base. It is in 158 scale. It's kind of cool looking. Um, it does have like lens detail up front for the headlights, which are part of the windshield piece, which I always like when that's done. Um, I think that's always a nice touch, and uh, if it can be pulled off appropriately. And this one, this casting's kind of neat. It looks kind of cool. It's an interesting little matchbox. You don't, I haven't really seen many of these around in my hunting for die cast. Um, at antique malls and stuff like that and shows. I haven't really seen much of this casting. I don't think I've ever really noticed it before. So it's a pretty cool one. Um, I like it. All right, so that's number two. And then the next one we're going to look at is this one here. This one's pretty cool. This is the uh, Ford RS200. It is in 155 scale, 155th scale. Uh, this particular variation of it was available from 1987 to 1988, so just two years. It was number 34 in the lineup. The casting itself was used all the way up into 93, from 80, 87 to 93. So this was like the first variation it was in. Um, this car would actually pair very nice with the Ford Supervan 2 casting uh, that Matchbox did put on around the same era. Uh, it's got that same sort of uh, uh, Ford Racing uh, tampo action going on. Um, this is a pretty cool looking vehicle. I uh, definitely dig it. This one is this one's a metal base. Yeah, it is metal. It's painted black metal. Ford RS200 Matchbox, made in Macau. Um, it does have suspension, like most of the models from Matchbox did around this era. And uh, and most of the Matchbox models around this era, I should note too, most of them are around the 155 scale uh, arena. A lot of them are a little bit larger than 164 scale. They still kind of fit nice in with the Hot Wheels collection, but they are uh, just slightly larger. 
So I think this one's pretty neat. Uh, this would be one I probably would keep in my collection. I like this style of like kind of vintage little race car, rally car kind of look to it from the 80s and 70s. And um, I just think they, the deliveries kind of looked cool, kind of tasteful, not too busy. Um, so I think that's pretty neat and, and I definitely dig it. So that's that one. And then uh, the last casting we're going to look at, and I've got two different variations of it, is the Pontiac uh, Fiero, which is this one right here. So I've actually got two of the same car here. But, oh, well, pretty close to the same car. There is a variation in the wheel. This one's got chrome hubs, and that one's got gold. Um, <clears throat> I think this one was available in 1986. The, the casting itself was available from 1985 to 1989. And uh, it was number two in the Matchbox lineup. So let's just kind of take a look at one of these because we don't really need to look at the wheel variation too closely. But here are the... Here's the Tampo scheme. It's got like a Union 76 kind of look to it. Um, that almost looks like the Urban Outlaw logo. Obviously it's not. It's like a tag hewer. I believe uh, it's hard to read it it's got champion union 76 wins valvoline goodyear a lot of little sponsorship but still tastefully done and not too busy uh the base on this is plastic uh, it's a plastic base and it is made of macau and it is pretty neat i always liked these matchbox wheels these little dotted wheels I always thought those were kind of uh, nice for whatever reason, the eight dot wheels. So there's that variation. And then I've got another one here. This is the um, one with the same style wheels that we just saw on that. This one here on this Pontiac Fiero. Uh, so this one's Gary B. Protec Fire Systems 16 Pontiac. That's a cool little car. Again, still has suspension, uh, plastic base, metal body. Uh, this one, I don't know what year it came out in. <clears throat> Again, like I said, it's it's tough to research these, especially if you're in a hurry. And oftentimes I am in a hurry uh, preparing these videos. I just don't get a ton of time uh, to go ahead and research these models, but I do try to get some information for you. Um, so I wasn't able to f date this one specifically, but I am guessing that, you know, we're looking towards the end of it, like 89, probably 87 to 89 just based on the type of wheels that we see on the car. Um, so I do like that one. I think it looks good. I think it definitely looks better with these wheels on it than the other ones. But these aren't terrible. I actually kind of like these wheels. I've said this in a previous Matchbox Monday episode. Uh, the wheels have absolutely no de depth to them whatsoever. They're like a... Um, uh, just like a solid piece of plastic with just this little like kind of raised design on it So there's no like depth inside of the spokes, but I think it still looks good for a one, you know, 164 ish scale wheel And uh, I think I like it so yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode guys So just another matchbox Monday episode uh, again. These are in playlists or these are in a playlist. Vintage Matchbox Monday is the playlist. I should probably change the title to just Matchbox Monday on the playlist, even though the majority of it, the stuff has been older. Um, I guess when, when you say vintage, you're probably thinking of the, the 60s stuff, you know, uh, from Matchbox. But it's vintage to to us now, I, I would think. You know, it is 2019. So, so these models are still pretty old. So, <clears throat> you know, over 30 years old. So, anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Did you like this lineup of cars? Is there anyone in particular that you uh, really thought was cool or one that now that you know it exists, if you didn't know it existed before, that you will try to pick up? I really think this one's probably my favorite, this, this Fiat. Um, I think is really cool, but I think all of these are um, pretty neat uh, castings. So very cool all right so thank you guys very much for watching again please check out my other videos uh please hit the like button please subscribe leave a comment if you can um and i really appreciate it so thank you very much and have a good day